Awesome. So, you know, the, the culture as I came in, I've never, you know, I've been working in companies for, you know, 20 plus years. I have never seen a company that deeply is devoted to kindness, like in my whole friggin' life inside of consulting and coaching, like more I have to go into companies and get them to be in their hearts and stop being so friggin' mean. Okay. So you all err on the side of kindness, which is, thank God, I mean, awesome. <laughs> and the issue is you all are chickens about speaking straight up with candor, right? So yeah. if I'm upset with you, how the frig do I have a conversation with you? I immediately go, oh, I'm going to hurt his feelings. It's going to be yeah. mean. They're going to get upset. They're going to run to Gary or their boss to say I wasn't kind and didn't have empathy. <laughs> so how the frig do you talk straight? You know, how do you hit somebody yeah. upside the head with a brick <laughs> with <laughs> your heart so they're left dealing with themselves? And not yeah. with you being, you know, a creep or whatever it is, right? I'll give you, I'll give you like kind of the hardest use case for us because in wow. the creative organization, you're constantly dealing with people who are going to put themselves out there with their concepts, their ideas, and they bring it to you. And in our model, there's a lot of freedom to be able to get ideas out into the world. But eventually, there's only so many things that get all of the investment behind it in terms of media spend and creative production. And so being able to have, you know, more candid conversations that kind of decouple your idea from you know your performance because not every idea moves forward and most of them don't yeah. um that's that's been like the the hardest part is like trying to like you know be able to communicate like you're still great you're still doing an awesome job but this idea like just isn't working for these reasons and that's the reason it's not going forward that for us as an organization is something that like requires so many of the practices that you know we've been working on together of like how do you actually like build the type of relationship where you can have that conversation where a person doesn't feel attacked about their work they they understand you're not attacking them you're just having a creative conversation about what's working or not working of their idea yeah and that uh you know like is a really big unlock for us because i think oftentimes in creative you know you uh you tend to kind of not say it because you don't want to hurt the person's feelings right. but how you don't have real talk Yes, but how you said it in the example is exactly that. So uh, let me let me distinguish it. So you frame it first, which is how you framed yeah. it was like, listen, you're doing a great job. We love that you're on the team. This idea we're going to pass on. And let me give you how come we're going to pass on it. It isn't personal. This is not an attack on you. You're doing great, but I want to up the level of teaching you something about what we're looking for when we do this kind of work. And then you give the notes. So it's inside the context, Nick, I think you and I spoke about this the other day. The context is training and developing people, yeah, wanting to exactly. evolve people. Everyone in a corporation, in a company, anyone who's working deeply cares about being great. Most people exactly. want to get promoted. Most people have ambitions. People want to do great. You don't go to work and go, oh, I hope I do some mediocre shit work today, right? Yeah. So inside of training and development, having people be great. You frame it in that and then give the note.